everyone. Welcome back. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we use great makeup, skincare, and attitude adjustments to stay in the game at 50 plus. Okay, I'm so excited to share the information in this video with you. It is a look at some great hair tools. This is an unusual hairstyle for me, and I use the T3 Styler, which I'll show you. It's actually T3 Hot Rollers to achieve it. And in this video, stick around because I'll be taking you through how I style this hair, and then I will be going into Beachy Wave using the World Trio. That will be the second half of the video and stay to the end if you can because I have some fabulous buys which I have some fabulous buys I'd like to share with you on some great designer looking jewelry. It is some great stuff and in the last of this video I'll share my outfit of the day, a little thought for the day, and some things I've really been enjoying from Amazon. Okay, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to receive email notifications. And if you give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. I'll move in a little bit closer now. And I will tell you, for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that this is very unusual for me because usually I have very straight hair. And I got this style that I have now by going through everything I used to get my straight hair. And I call that flat ironing your hair for volume, and I will link a video for, for you there. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know in the past year my hair has gotten markedly better looking because I do not have good hair. I have thin blonde hair, and it's very overprocessed. But in the last year, I found some great tools to help plump it up. And the most recent tool I found is this little T3 hot roller set. And that is how I got this style. And I'm going to ask you one more time to respond below the video on whether you like this style better, my straight style better, which you can't see today, or the beachy wave style that will be at the end of the video. But there is the little set of hot rollers. They're absolutely beautiful. They're flocked so they keep the damage down on your hair. They also just give you lots of volume and a little bit of curl. And I will say that I did this hairstyle this morning before I left for work. I had a meeting at work, so I wanted to do my hair especially. And so like at seven o'clock this morning, I created this style, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. I'll show you every step of that. And I sprayed it with this Kenra Volume 25 hairspray, and it looks exactly identical to how it looked this morning at 7 a.m. And it is now three o'clock in the afternoon. So if you want helmet hair too, that really doesn't feel like helmet hair. It really feels pliable and wonderful. And you can't even tell you have hairspray, but it will really, really hold your style. So rather than wasting your time here, I want to get right into it. I'll show you how I style this hair using the T3 Hot Rollers. Okay. Okay. My hair looks terrible. I got out of the shower and I went ahead and blow dried my hair. I'm using my Dyson blow dryer, which I love. I think they call it a Dyson hair dryer. I've had this for about a year and I think, I don't think it's a coincidence. For the last year on my videos, my hair has been looking so much more full and so much better and so much healthier. And I really think that, and I really think the Dyson is one of the main reasons. It only takes me like five minutes to blow dry my hair and that's a lot of hair. And the products I used, and I won't belabor this because I have a whole video about exactly how I style my normally flat ironed hair. So I'll link that below, but I use this Joy Whip as a mousse. And then I spray Boldify pretty much all over my hair to give it volume. And then I use this Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Cream around basically here down. It's great. Now, the next step is that I go in and flat iron my hair, and I'm using this GHD two inch flat iron, which is wonderful. I think it's really made a difference on my hair. It really gets the back of my hair nice and straight. And I always spray it with this Aquage Beyond Shine spray. I've used this for probably 15 years, love this. And I'll show you one pass of the GHD flat iron, but that's not what this video is about. So if you want to see my complete hair video, see how nice and flat that makes that? I'll do one more. I don't want to waste time in this video showing you this because I have a video called how to flat iron your hair for volume that really gets into to how I do that. So anyway, that is how the GHD works. Okay, my hair is all flat ironed and for the past five minutes, I've been heating up my T3s. Really like those, they're very modern and sleek looking and they come with this great little case, which I really appreciate because it's hard to keep sometimes the little clippies with the unit, so that's great. So basically, I just do a very standard roller set. I use big ones right along there, and there are four big ones. I do four big ones there, and then four medium-sized, uh, two on either side. And so I'll just go ahead and zoom the tape ahead so you can see it, but not be bored.
Okay, the curlers are all in. They're a little messy, but I don't really care about that. That's basically how they look. Again, the large ones are rolled backwards on the top, and then the two side ones are rolled down on the sides. And I'm going to go get on my makeup while these are cooling off. Okay, I have my makeup on, and the curlers are all warm. Actually, they're cool, not warm. So there we go. You just kind of take it out like that. And I'll just go ahead and kind of speed up the video so you can see quickly how it works. See? Okay, all the curlers are out and that's how my hair looks. And I've been experimenting with what to do next, but I think it helps the body to go ahead and spray the curls first when they're still kind of just warm, a little bit warm. Sometimes I do this step and sometimes I don't. This is my Kenra Volume 25 hairspray I absolutely love. Let me give this a moment to dry and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and the curls are all dry, ready to go. And basically what I'm going to do is just sort of like puff it out a little bit. I try not to go down through the curls too much. Just go ahead and give it some back combing there. I could use my little back combing brush, probably should, but oh my gosh, look, I've got a chocolate bar. I did not use my Real Techniques blending brush. That happens. Oh boy. The life of a YouTuber. <laughs> Definitely, we have our issues. <laughs> okay, now that's a little bit more body fill there. So then I'm going to take this and do my standard buff thing that I do. Let me go find a comb. These are just little three inch combs that I buy from Walmart just to get a little more height up there. So that's how that works. I just stuck it right back in there. Whoa, a little more back combing on the sides. It's kind of hard to use this monitor. I'm actually using my cell phone <laughs> as the mirror it feels a little backwards or something. It's kind of strange. Let me look in the mirror and fix this up. Okay, there are the curls all finished. There's a look at the back. I don't know how it looks. Hopefully it looks okay. Then I take my Kenra 25 and I could literally not have my hair without this hairspray. I will probably never have another favorite because I went through totally tons of different hairsprays all these recommended ones from my viewers, and nothing holds like this. Okay, basically I have a hair helmet in place. You can kind of push it if you want a little more volume and it will stay there. It's okay, that was a look at how I got this style using these T3 hot rollers and I am absolutely loving them. And again, they're flocked, they really don't damage your hair, and I really think you and I really think they give you great volume, not necessarily tight curls. And that's what I'm going to be showing you next. And it's something I'm not super comfortable with. I feel like an aging Bo Peep in the new style, in the style that I'm going to show you. I've mentioned that in the comment section below, but I got the next style from this World Trio and I'm going to be using one of these. This comes with three wonderful attachments. This is actually a whole hair wardrobe. If you want hair, if you want curled hair, this is a fantastic way to get it. So I will be using this little one, which is the one that is tapered, and I'll go ahead and show you that process. Hi there, I'm ready to show you my next style, and I'm going to go ahead and take down the buff. And you're going to see why I often use the buff, and this is this little Walmart comb here. And that is because for some reason, my forehead is so huge without the buff that I don't know, it just looks like, it, I don't know, it just looks like I'm all forehead. But anyway, we'll go ahead and try to do it without the buff. And if it looks too bad when I get down, I'll put the buff back in. But anyway, okay, so basically what we do is we just take little sections here and then you take this wand and I'll show you a little diagram, stick around, because I will show you a little diagram of what the all, of what all three of the wands do. And you just go ahead and uh, put that on there and then just count however many you think is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you just undo that curl and there it is. I will say on the second one, I go the opposite direction. Just start at the top, just wind it around. 
and then you're just waiting 20 seconds. So in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the tape and get through this fast so you can see the process. Okay, so there we are. We have a lot of curls and we let them kind of cool. However, this one right here, I don't think it curled enough. So I think I took too much hair. So I'm going to go ahead and divide that. You can come to the end and kind of redo any areas that you think need a little more help. And so I'll do that on this one. I grabbed too much hair. The smaller, the better, really. If you want those beachy wait, if you want those beachy waves, Okay, last one. So there we go. So then you just give it a few minutes for everything to kind of cool off. And <laughs> as you can see, I'm already looking really flat. I'm really wanting to put the buff back in there. I probably will. So anyway, this needs just another couple of minutes to cool and then I'll come back. Okay, now my hair curls have cooled and I went ahead and spritzed them with a little bit of Kenra 25 and let that dry. Then I'm just going to take the curls and kind of pull them out with my fingers. I don't want to really take a brush to it. I just kind of want to, them to get that beachy wave look, kind of scrunch them a little bit. It's really rather easy to do. It's an easy style. <laughs> you know, I'm just not sure about the flatness up there. Maybe what I'll do is kind of do a little backcombing right there. Okay, we'll just go in here and backcomb. Backcombing is our friend <laughs> when we don't have volume on the top. At least I think it is, we'll, we'll see. Then I'll do a little back combing here. Maybe even down in here. I kind of like it when it gets that volume look on the sides. And you don't even need a back comb for this. You can just use your, use your paddle brush. So let me see if I can make that look okay. I think I need to look in the mirror over here, girls. Maybe I'll just do a little of the buff. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, this is how it looks. And I'm just going to take the camera and kind of spray that to keep it up a little bit. See, it just, it totally keeps everything up in the air. And I'll show you the back. There we go. I don't have a huge amount of hair, but I think for the hair that I have, this T3 Styler really did help buff it up. Okay, that was a look at how I got these beachy waves and they are growing on me, I have to admit. I really kind of do like them. I think they're very casual looking, which is really a cool thing. And I'm going to leave you with a little thought for the day. And that thought for the day has to do with a casual look. And that is what this is. And I'll do a split screen and show you what this outfit looks like. And basically this is a size medium men's Hanes t-shirt. They wear better than the women's and they're very, very durable. And I like the oversized look. And then I have a lot of kind of fancy jewelry on. I have some Nike tennis shoes. And my thought for the day is in a lot of my life, I was busy buying nice clothes for work and clothes for the kids and for Alan. And so I really didn't have any casual clothes that looked good. Basically, I had my look glam clothes, be at work clothes, and then I had my paint the garage clothes. I look terrible. And in my second half, I've realized that things are getting more casual and I really do like to have a nice outfit, just a nice casual outfit to go shopping or whatever. And again, this is just a Hanes men's medium t-shirt. They have it in a lot of colors and I've kind of glammed it up with some great jewelry and I won't go into all the details here. If you'd like a video about this though, I would love to show you. 
That is a little David Yerman alike ring. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is actually a real one. I used to sell David Yerman. So you can kind of see that they're very, very, very good fakes. And they are in the style of, they're totally legal, so don't worry about that. I've got some David Yerman alike earrings, which are fabulous. I love them. And then I've got all of these little David Yerman bracelets, and they're not David Yerman. They're in the style of David Yerman. They are from Amazon, and all of this jewelry, there's none of it that's over $20. And if you'd like to have a video about David Yerman jewelry, this is just, I grabbed this handful. I have a huge amount of David Yerman jewelry because I actually used to sell it on eBay. So I know good fakes when I see them. And again, these are totally legal because they're just kind of in the style of David Yerman. So I will put all the links below to the jewelry I have on, including this rather fabulous watch. There are links below to the T3 Hot Rollers and the T3 Styler. And basically this is a whole hair curling wardrobe for you, but it can be a little confusing as to which one does which type of curl. So let me show you this little set of pictures here. This woman has very straightened hair in the first picture, which is very similar to how I always wear my hair. In the second picture there with the undone waves, she has used the one inch wand barrel, which is a straight barrel. And then in the second picture there for tussled waves, she has used the same tapered wand that I use. And then in the last picture there to get loose waves, she used the one and one half inch wand barrel. And again, that is a straight barrel. So regardless of whatever curl style you want, I think the T3 wand set would give you just about every option out there. And thank you for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.